we're just cramming ourselves in here. There is no room really to spare for anything. Can you still reach the collective there, Luke? Yeah. Okay, so Luke can reach the collective. I've got an armrest. That's handy. <laughs> we're flying. In this video, we're going to be flying a Bell 47 helicopter from Texarkana, Arkansas, all the way to the border of Texas and Mexico. Body break out here in a random field, and we also dropped one of the little screw things for the GoPro, so it's always best to pick up what you drop in a helicopter because you don't know where it's going to bounce and rattle down to. You don't want to get in the way of the flight, in the way of the flight controls. So we're going to pick up out of this field, and then there's an airport that we're going to get some fuel at, and hopefully find a restaurant to land at, get a bite to eat. On this leg of the flight, our transponder started giving us issues, so we decided to land and take on some fuel and decide what to do about the transponder. Welcome to Majors Greenville, just outside of Dallas, north of Dallas. First stop of the day. So we're still troubleshooting the transponder, but we gotta make a fuel stop. So we're gonna make a fuel stop and then head down to the avionics place in Dallas, or maybe get on the phone with them here and see if they can tell us anything. And, uh, yeah, hopefully square that away. That's kind of our big issue right now is, you know, the owner, the new owner is not going to want the aircraft if the ADS-B doesn't work. We can't fly it into Mexico if it doesn't work. So we're kind of proceeding in good faith that we will get this taken care of. Um, so anyway, it's a beautiful day. Here we are. We're going to get some fuel and keep on keeping on. I've got a, I got a strange request for you. Is it? possible to land in the back lot there and pick up some lunch yeah at, at, at Grantfield. yeah just right yeah, out that, be i mean at Grantfield, i'm pretty sure it's nobody's property but uh, that should be fine okay just right out behind the taco bell yes sir okay thank you all right thank you welcome aboard folks taco bell here we come okay now i will try to figure out where we're going there's residential kind of on one side and like shopping oh, on the it, other side. I see it. Pretty much a one way and one way out approach. Yep. Lunch was acquired and we were on to Dallas to repair the transponder. Look up your eight hotel alpha, turn left at Alpha Two and then join Alpha. Left Alpha Two and over to Alpha then request progressive over to uh Kilpa. All right, transponder is finally finished. We've been here for what, two and a half hours or so? Something Three hours? Like that, yeah. A long time, way too long. But the good news is, is the transponder works now. We're gonna head in the helicopter uh, down south, get some fuel just south of Fort Worth. All right, we are at Sphinx Airport. Uh, just south of Fort Worth. We're just gonna top it off with some av gas, and I think we're gonna head off into the darkness for at least a little bit. Look up here, 468 Hotel Alpha. Departure from the ramp area will be at your own risk. It's a non-movement area. Wind is 150 at six, and you can proceed as requested. Central traffic helicopter, 468 Hotel Alpha, three mile final runway. One six to be headed to the shelter. Uh, well, here we are in Temple, Texas. We're just about to get fuel. We're going to call an Uber, book a hotel, and we're going to call it a night. The next morning, the first thing on our list was to get an Uber ride back to the airport. We're at the Hilton Inn. Are you able to pick us up here? Uh, yes. Yeah, so let me get doing this ride, and I'll be right there. Okay. Awesome. We'll meet you down there. Thanks. Helicopter trouble. Uh, sometimes it's a blessing and a curse to be a mechanic because instead of <laughs> it's like you get to do the work when it doesn't work. It's kind of up to me to do it. These weren't my greasy gloves. They are now. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, this bolt is a little bit of a challenge to get to. This part. And I don't know if you guys are able to see this. I'm sure there'll be more pictures we can add in, but this is the starter adapter that connects the starter to the engine and it's in about 
10 pieces and it should be in one. So yeah, we're grounded here for maintenance and we're gonna call around and start finding a part. Two part stores and nothing. Well, we're a little well, closer. We're, we're closer. We're starting to figure out at least what we need. We think we've laid eyes on the part that we need and now we're trying to find it close. So we're gonna call the John Deere dealer. I wouldn't have, I would not have anything here, sir. Okay, okay. You know of anywhere else in town that might? Not in the camera. Okay. Alrighty, thanks. Yes, sir, sorry. That's all right. That was no fun. All right, Caps Auto Repair. We finally located a small mom and pop shop who had exactly the part we needed. The next step was to find the roll pin. The usual answer was... No, sir. You don't. Okay. All righty. Thanks. Yes, I am looking for um, a certain size of roll pin. Do you guys carry roll pins? Yes, what size are you needing? Awesome. Well, um, six... A little over six millimeters, 6.4 millimeter, I think it was. And we'll see in a few. Okay, all right, bye-bye. Thanks, bye. Yes! A quick five yeah, minute drive to the it. hardware store and we had roll pins in hand. Here it is, all put back together. Unbelievable. It's right here in town, that was Far easier than I expected, anyway. Yeah, pretty painless. Thanks, you too. Oh, happy sight. Ha. So satisfying. <laughs> it was very satisfying. With the new starter in, we were excited to have the troubles behind us and the rest of the flight go smoothly. But that did not happen. We decided to pull the helicopter into a hangar and hop on a jet back home for the holidays.